Hello again, it's Cody here, it's that time of year, it's uh, getting towards Halloween, so I've decided to redecorate and I've put uh, a new load of figures on my shelf, so I thought I'd show that off here. And so, we're going from left to right, we've got this little figure here, which I got from Poundland, I thought that looked quite interesting. Uh, then behind her, we've got the, zom the tar zombie from Return of the Living Dead, that's quite a spooky one. We've got, uh, yes, we've got the wolf man there, uh, with him next to him is Chucky. And then we've got the original Bela Lugosi Dracula. And then next, and then fitting in between him and Frankenstein is the Bride of Chucky, Tiffany. And uh, then next, uh, next here is the nearest thing to a normal human. It's uh, Herbert West, the Reanimator. Uh, that's my latest one that I bought, and it's quite a nice figure. It's very poseable. And uh, next, and behind him, he's got the shovel. He's got his reagent in his hand. But next to him is Jason. A nice little uh, figurine I got many years ago. And then here are all my gremlins, all from Gremlins 2. Uh, they're just really well detailed, these things. Uh, sometimes difficult to get into reasonable poses because of the way the joints work, but they do look so good, so realistic. So, yeah, we've got George, Larry, uh, Daffy. The brown uh, gremlin there and the phantom uh, gremlin. And of course over here we've got what they looked like before they ate after midnight. We've got Daffy on the left, uh, George in the centre and Larry on the right. Then we've got down at the bottom, uh, we've got Mohawk and Gizmo looking very uh, angry and ready to fight. So once we get past those, we have got, uh, I've gone for a retro Puppet Master display this year. So I've got uh, Dr. Death there and Tunneler and Cyclops, Blade, Pinhead and Six Shooter. And Six Shooter, I was surprised I got him out of the package just yesterday and he, he just looked very nice. I wasn't sure if I really liked him compared to the original Six Shooter, but he, he's definitely grown on me just from getting him out of the packaging. And here is a uh, interesting uh, collection made by a Japanese designer. It's called Return of Monstrous. They had about six or seven uh, figures. I've got the wolf, uh, wolf man or wolf woman in this case. And next to her, we've got the creature from the Black Lagoon inspired uh, lady there. And then we've got a uh, general witchy kind of Halloween uh, one. I'm not exactly what uh, sure what character if there's a character it's supposed to be but it's very colorful and this is a special uh, halloween -y repaint version which is much more orange than the other version and of course here we've got one of the killer clowns from outer space yes i really uh, uh do love that film it's so nicely cheesy um, and it makes the best use of its uh its concept with the uh, popcorn guns and the balloons, and the candy floss and everything. It just uses every part of the clown. So I'm just going to go back across and have a look at uh, all of them. Uh, I do think uh, the problem with the Puppet Master ones is they don't pose very well. So I was worried that they might fall over, but I, I managed to get them standing up reasonably well. The uh, Gremlins just... They look like they could just come to life at any time. Oh yes, and there's the brain serum there. That's from the larger gremlin, uh, uh, brain gremlin, which I couldn't fit onto the shelf. But yes, yeah, so that's my shelf. Uh, that's my display for this year. So I hope you enjoyed that. See you again.